Today we're going to read Nia's Long Walk by Linda Sue Park, illustrated by Brian Pinckney. And yes, I said Nia. We've been saying Nia for years. Turns out it's pronounced one syllable, Nia. Don't believe me? Look. Author's note. Nia's name is pronounced as one syllable, Nia. Here we go. And by the way, this is dedicated to all my seventh grade students. Come on, Nya said. Why are you slow today? I'm tired, Akir said. Nya sighed. It was a long way to the water hole. I'll tell Mama that you were trouble, she said. Don't, Akir begged. I'll be good. She started walking a little faster. Akir, look! Nya pointed to the horizon where she could see a cloud of dust. What is it? I can't see, Akir whined. Antelope? Or a truck? Too far away to tell. Probably antelope. Trucks were a rare sight in their village. Akir was slowing down again. Nya said, you know the clapping game? Let's sing the song. And do the clapping too? Not while we walk, but later, okay? At the water hole, they took long drinks. Nya filled the jerry can. Then they played the clapping game, twice. Time to go, Nya said. Akir dragged her feet. She walked more and more slowly. Soon, she began to cry and sat down on the ground. I can't walk anymore, she said. It's too far, and I'm too tired. Don't be silly, Nya snapped. You've walked this before, lots of times. Akir cried and snuffled and hiccuped. She looked up at Nya. Her eyes were very big. Nya frowned. Akir was not a crybaby. Usually, she skipped along, chattering like a starling. Nya knelt in front of Akir and felt her face. Akir's forehead and cheeks were burning hot. She had stopped crying and was quiet and still. Akir was sick, maybe very sick. Nya felt worry swelling inside her. They were at least half a morning's walk away from home. I must run and get help, she thought. She took a few steps, then glanced back at Akir. No, she could not leave Akir alone. Should they stay and wait for help? It might be hours before someone came. Akir would get sicker and sicker. I will have to carry her and the water too. Her mother would need the water to help make Akir better. Nya opened the jerry can and poured out half the water. She picked up the can, hefted its weight and shook her head, still too heavy. She poured out a little more. Akir! Akir opened her eyes. They were dull and sad. I know you don't feel well, Nya said, trying to keep her voice steady. But you have to climb on my back and hold tight. Can you do that? Akir got on Nya's back. Nya used her headscarf to tie Akir in place, the way her mother did. Then she picked up the jerry can and began to walk. Akir was heavy. The water was heavy. Nya could only take a few steps before she had to rest. Home was so far away. Tears filled Nya's eyes. I can't do it. It's too far. Nya saw a tamarind tree up ahead. She swallowed and blinked away her tears. I'll go to the tree. I'll put Akir down there. When she got to the tree, she thought she might be able to walk a little more. Those thorn bushes, I'll rest there. At the bushes, she rested for a moment. Akir had fallen asleep. Farther on, Naya saw an old stump. I can make it to that stump, I know I can. Step by step, a bit at a time, Nya kept walking. Outside the village, people came running. Mama took Akir. 
Someone else took the water. Everyone rushed away. Nya sat down on the ground. She slumped for a long time with her head in her hands until she heard footsteps coming toward her. It was Mama. We think Akir has the sickness that comes from drinking dirty water, she said. She needs to go to the clinic. It would take Mama two or three days to walk to the clinic. She would have to carry Akir as well as food and water for the trip. I'll need your help, Mama said. Nia didn't answer. I'm so tired. I can't walk anymore today. I know you're tired, Mama said. But we have to go now. Nia saw Mama's face, full of worry. She remembered how Akir had looked, so sad and afraid. Maybe I can walk a little more, as long as I go a step at a time. She got to her feet. When we're at the clinic, I can sing to Akir, she said, and play the clapping game with her. She likes that. Mama nodded and held out her hand. She is lucky to have you as a sister, she said. Nya took Mama's hand. Together, they went to help Akir. And then what happened? Akir got better after a stay in the clinic. She was fortunate. Waterborne diseases are the leading cause of death for children under the age of five. The dust cloud Nya saw was indeed a truck. It was being driven by a man named Salva Dut, a former refugee and head of an organization called Water for South Sudan. Eventually, Salva and his crew would install a clean water well in Nya's village. The village now has far fewer cases of waterborne illness. And because Nya and the other village girls no longer have to walk hours every day to fetch water, they have time to go to school. As of 2019, Salva's organization has drilled more than 340 wells, serving at least a quarter million people. Students from schools in the U.S. and many other countries have participated in fundraising activities and sponsored 139 of those wells, as well as donating money for a new drilling rig. Nya and her family are fictional characters, but their story is typical of villagers all over South Sudan. The end. My first truly educational video. What did you think, Elizabeth from General Hospital? I like watching you teach. Thank you. See you next time.